Hello and welcome to The Big Fight. It's been a week of considerable drama in connection with the aftermath of the Sorabuddin encounter case, as it has now come to be called. We've had the spectacle of a person who's been the Minister of State Air for Home in the Gujarat government, Amit Shah, now in prison, answering questions from the CBI. But all sorts of other questions are being, are being asked now. What is going to be the political fallout? Just where does the trail lead to? What could be the other ramifications? And those are some of the subjects that we are going to be uh, trying to address uh, this, this, this evening. Uh, in, in the studio with us, Manish Tiwari, spokesperson of the Congress Party, and right next to him, Nirmal Asita Raman, BJP spokesperson. It's great for both of you to join us. Vrindya Grover, who's a human rights advocate and is also representing Isha Jahan, who's one of the people whose uh, uh, death has become a subject of, ma of massive controversy. Also the counsel for many Gujarat riot victims. Vrindya, great to have you with us. Mukul Rohatki is uh, counsel for the Gujarat government, and uh, you have been protesting at great length about... Uh, the involvement of the CBI in all of this, so no doubt yes. we will get you to talk about that. Ajay Umad, group editor of Divya Bhaskar, it's great to have you with us. You've done a lot of, uh, of, of investigative work into, into the entire uh, circumstances surrounding uh, the, the death of Surabuddin, so great to have you with us. And Mr. Joginder Singh, former director of the CBI, it's great to have you once uh, you. with us once again. Thank you. And again at a time when the CBI is under political fire from one quarter or the other. So thank, thank you all so much thank for being with us. Mukul Rohatki, why don't I kick off with you? Yeah. Where is this case headed to right now? And you've now got the Minister of State for Home, well, he's not anymore, he's resigned, in the dock, being questioned by the CBI, he's in jail right now. Just where is, are all the trails leading to in this case? See, from whatever I have seen, uh, I'd like to answer this question in two different planes. The first pl plane being about Mr. Amit Shah. From whatever I have seen, the charge sheet I have seen, there is no credible evidence at all against Mr. Amit Shah. The only evidence which seems to be is of two brothers who are builders who have made some kind of statement after five years against whom large number of criminal cases were pending, whose brother is or was a Congress MLA. They have made some kind of statements that we met or we talked to Amit Shah and in some context, he told us that uh, knocking off Sohrabuddin was a political compulsion. What these people were doing for five years, the incident is five years old, nobody knows. There is no other material. One more thing I want to tell you. Your channel has been showing that there were 20 calls between the police of the ATS and Mr. Amit Shah on the day of the encounter. That does not seem to be correct. There may be calls before and after. But isn't it obvious that a minister of home has to be in, has to be in touch with his ATS? Well, large number of times with encounter policemen on the days when the encounter happens. I, you know, it's a really activist minister of state for home. I must say, mm. you want to just comment on that last part? Yeah, as he said that you know there are no evidences against Amit Shah. I think it is not true. As per CBI charge sheet, I am not going into the merit of the charge sheet, but as per the CBI charge sheet, Minister Amit Shah has spoken to all these officers, whether it is Vanjara and Kosarbi. You know, after the. Uh, fake encounter because it was accepted by government of Gujarat in the court that it was a fake encounter. Uh, after the fake encounter of Sorabuddin, when Kosarbi was killed, there are telephonic evidences which show that, you know, Amit Shah has spoken to N.K. Amin, who has now turned as approver in front of CBI. And he has given a statement under 164 where he says okay. that Amit Shah has spoken to me and uh, he was not part of this team. He was working in C uh, uh, crime branch and he was not part of this ATS team. See, I, I would respond in a minute. An approver's evidence is tainted evidence because he himself has been a criminal. 